Hello everybody, Amy Giverts here with a quick tutorial for the G recruiters out there who would like to know how to build a custom search engine on the fly using Google's blog platform Blogger. So let's get started. We'll go into our accounts and go into our Blogger account and there we are going to create a new blog. And while I'm doing that, you can go to your bookmarks and you'll find there's a folder for Blogger and you can go in there and watch the little tutorial, it'll only take you a minute or two, creating a blog in Blogger is pretty simple. So I'll see you on the other side when I've got my blog done. So here we are, we've created our blog and uh, I've called my blog Vertical Intelligence, People on the Move. This is actually part of a set of engines that I'm building. And the first page that we're looking at is this editor where we can create our first post. What we need to do now is actually provide the search engine with something to search. So that could be uh, web pages, it could be links, it could be a combination of both. In this instance, we're going to use the results from a Google search to drive this engine, but there are other ways to do this, and if there's time at the end, I'll show you some of those. So let's go over to Google, and let's put in our search. I've actually prepared one here, and you can see here I've got two phrases, people on the move or immediate release and then I've got a series of keywords here like announced and appointed and promoted, the kind of words that you'd expect to find in an announcement in a press release or on a corporate website or in some similar communication announcing that somebody's been promoted, left, moved, joined or what have you. So let's just plug that straight into the search engine and let's see what kind of results we can generate. And just giving it a quick glance, I can see that this is pretty much what it is I'm looking for. You'll see here that I've changed my preferences to show 100 results on the page. And the reason that I'm doing that is because my purpose is to simply cut and paste this entire page and put it into my post. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we could do every single page, but what I want to do first is test it out. So I'm just going to take one page. I'm going to drop it into my post and I'm going to press publish and we should be good to move to the next step. So we've created our blog and we've created our first post. Now we need to create our search engine. So we'll go into layout and the first thing that you'll notice is that in the side we've got some gadgets and we really want to get rid of those. So before we go ahead and add the gadgets that we need, we'll take these out. They serve no purpose and sometimes they can actually mess things up. So it's probably better that they're out rather than in. This one's always hard to get rid of, but get rid of it we must. And when we go to add a gadget, you'll see that we can add quite a few different things, but we really only have use for one. And you'd think that it would be this search box by Google Custom Search. I'm going to add it anyway, although this is not really what we're after. So let me save that and I'll show you why this is the better of the two options. So we're going to go and add this HTML JavaScript gadget and then we'll give it a name. So we'll call this one Vertical Search and we now need to put our code in there. So coming back to the bookmarks, if you drop down to Google search, you'll find a link there that will take you to custom search on the fly. And here's the code that we're looking for. So we're just going to cut and paste that directly out of the page. We're going to come back into Blogger and put in our code. And let's now save that. And there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have a custom search engine built on the fly using Google's blog platform, Blogger. And now all that remains is for us to test it out and see if indeed it works. <laughs> 